have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill. And I think we are about to be interrupted with a cutscene. Uh, we just completed the Horizon mission. We are starting Act 2 of Mass Effect 2. And did I say this was Hill here? <laughs> okay. Let's walk over to our terminal. Alright. Nothing's triggering. Okay. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Yeah, this, this thing started right up. I had to reload the game. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. Alright, let's investigate. And you may or may not be aware we are now looking at the Arrival DLC. Alright, so let's continue with our investigation. Let's ask about the Reaper invasion. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. Let's ask about Dr. Amanda Kenson. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. Let's ask about the terrorism charges. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. All right. If I have time. I'm on an important mission, Admiral. I'll add this to the list. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. All right, so we didn't complain about uh, us adding this to the list. So we now have a mission to go to the planet Aratot. I love that name. And we got two Renegade for being just a little bit uh, confrontational with the Admiral. All right, I was afraid of this, people. Wait, are these alive or are they dead? They might still be alive. I haven't... Oh, yes, they're dead. Yeah, I haven't been up here in so long. Oh, no. We gotta clean this out. So, our fish are gone. I can't remember if you can actually buy more fish. I'll, I'll try. Uh, we have our new relic here. Uh-huh. We got that from the Firewalker DLC mission. Okay, um, let's go ahead. It's, it's that time again, people. I'm 
Sorry to have to tell you, but it's time to talk to the crew. It's just, just a staple of Mass Effect and Bioware games. The good ones. <laughs> Let me put it that way. All right, we're going to start at the bottom and work our way to the top. Hopefully, I don't know if it, how, how long this will take. Hopefully not too long. Um, I do want to see if Grunt will talk to us now. It's been a while. Shepard. Let's talk about Grunt. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open, not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Let's ask about any other human imprints. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Hmm. All right, so let's ask about any guidance from Okir. What did Okir want you to feel about this stuff? Hate. But the pictures, the aliens in them, they don't do anything. I see blood, craters, but so what? My guts were grown from a thousand more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. Let's tell him to ignore it. We need a warrior. You are the perfect Krogan. Can you live up to that? Or will this crap drag you down? I was built to be the strongest. But maybe weak moments inspire. That seems strange. I need to think, but I am still strong. Say the word and your enemies die. That's enough for you. All right, we got some renegade. Um, does he offer any upgrades Shepherd. for the ship? I'm not sure. Oh, he does. Let's ask about upgrades. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm, might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Uh, prototypes? Krogan shotgun, okay. This is the Claymore. Yes, we definitely will craft that and let him use it on our next mission. I think we have some more dialogue options. Shepard. Let's uh, talk about the squad. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Let's ask about the collectors. Did Okir give you any imprints about the collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. Hmm. Let's, uh, ask about the mission. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. All right. Well, that's helpful. That's all for now. Shepard. All right. I'm anxious to take him out soon. Let's, uh... Is this engineering? We have a new visitor new guest. Let's go down here and talk to her. Ah. And here she is. Jack. Hey. Let's talk. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't let you. As you recall, we bluffed about giving her the files. We had no intention of doing it. But she got them anyway. I told you that you could see them later. 
I get impatient. Bust someone out of prison, they'll probably take what they want. You're pushing it. Do not violate the integrity of my ship again. You won't like what happens. Yeah, okay. But I found some interesting stuff. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. All right, let's do some investigation. Next step. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. Wow, I can't let you do that? Um, come on, this is a renegade. Why would that... Let's go with finding answers. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. Let's ask about Cerberus. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. All right, you sound excited. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. Uh, I guess he kind of, you know, he's warming up to her brutality. Let's ask if she wants better quarters. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. Hmm? You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. And how would you help? You'd be my first mate. Oh! All right, Shepard. I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. Let's ask about her enjoying killing. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. Hmm, that is simple. All right, well, I guess that's it then. I should go. Yep. Four Renegade, nice. Oh, we got Paragon for asking her about the quarters. Um, let's see, does she have any upgrades to offer? Hey. Oh, she does. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Alright, is this a prototype again? Yes. Subject Zero Biotic Boost. 20% biotic damage. Alright, well, it's cutting into our EZO supply, but yeah, you can have it. Okay. Hey. Hey. Let's ask about the mission. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Hmm. Let's ask about Miranda and Jacob. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Mm. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Wow. You know what? I like her. <laughs> Okay, well, that'll be all for now. I should go. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's head upstairs. Not sure what I'm doing on the romance front with Shepard in this, uh, oh, so Kenneth, I think we talked you know to them, but... So, Kenneth, you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub-deck? Oh. Uh, what? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. Oh, and right. And she's a murderer. Has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. What can we do for you, Commander? Um, I think we have Carry on. Well, talked you, to Commander. them about everything, so let's move on. I don't think there's anyone else down here. Let's go up to the crew quarters. Okay, and I suppose we will just go and talk to Miranda. We haven't talked to her in a while. Miranda. 
Miranda. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Okay, what's wrong? What's going on? You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. And why are you telling me this? So why are you sharing the family history with me? My father's agents have been searching for my sister for years. I believe they've tracked her to Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Let's investigate. Let's ask about relocation. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Hmm, okay. Let's ask about Miranda's sister. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Oh man, I want to stick to Renegade and say we don't have time. But that could affect my relationship with Miranda. I'm going to say it anyway. I mean, you know, he, he is what he is. He's a renegade. You know what's at stake on this mission, Miranda. We can't afford delays for personal matters. I understand, Commander. The mission comes first. I was just hoping we would have time before... If the mission takes us to Ilium, maybe you'll reconsider. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Okay, so we got the mission. You know, we we gave her a little pause because uh, it looks like Shepard is more committed to the mission than she is. But you know how people are about family. Family comes first. So, even Miranda, as cold and whatever else you want to call her. I'm not going to call her names. I mean, you know, she still has a soft spot. That's good. Okay, uh, I guess we're headed up to deck two. I think there's anybody else down here to talk to. Okay, let's see what Jacob has to say. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. I decide what's personal. If it affects my crew, it's my business. Sir. I don't want to distract from our mission, especially if it turns out to be nothing, but... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. Get to the point. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that, out of the black. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. But you want to check it out? You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Mm-hmm. The elusive man. All right, so let's ask about the ship and mission. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Let's ask about his relationship with his father. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know... 
He's still a ghost. Let's ask about the possible Cerberus connection. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. <laughs> and whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? All right, well, we're going to shelve this for now. We're on a mission, people. The Reapers are coming. Forward the coordinates to Joker, but a ten-year-old wreck isn't really an emergency. Of course. I'm having trouble taking it seriously myself. But still, if we get a break, I'd like to close off any doubt. I'm sure you would. Okay, so we will need to be traveling to Aya. Aya. All right, let's go in here and talk with Morton. Shepard, how can I help? Um, I guess we'll ask about squad status. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on I think the team? We talked about all Cerberus this stuff. personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Uh huh. Uh, lab set up? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. And I think we've already talked about him and him being with the, what is it, STG or whatever, so. I'll let you work. We'll yeah. be here if you need me. We'll just move on. Okay, um, I believe, except for Joker, that should be it. Oh no, I forgot about Garrus. So, Hadley, how you gonna Gosh, spend because he's like locked away. You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course, Shepard's forming the best All right, team anything, Dallas Joker? Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden, Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? Oh, yes, of course, you know that. I mean, you guys used to banter up here on the bridge of the Normandy SR-1. Anyhow, it didn't go well. Another reminder of how I lost more than two years. I don't need this garbage. Right. Understood, Commander. Let's ask about how things are in the cockpit. I assume everything is going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Mm. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Wow. Oh, uh, let's talk about the good old days. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. All right, I think we've had these conversations already. Let's go. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right, and we've talked with Edie. I don't think there's a, a lot of dialogue around her once you find out about the Cerberus blocks and shackles and whatnot. So let's go back. Am I going to the right place? Yes, the elevator and the crew quarters. And let's find Garrus. He might be back here doing some calibrations. Garrus? Shepard. Need me for something? Just want to talk. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. See, I knew it. <laughs> um, let's ask about some Normandy upgrades. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Uh, ship enhancement. The Normandy represents the cutting edge of Cerberus fleet technology, but further improvements are possible. You and could assist you in succeeding in missions. All right. 
The Thanix Cannon. All right, it's a Turian designed Thanix Magnetic Hydronamic Cannon. And it's now installed on the Normandy. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. Installing immediately. All right, there we go. All right. Anything else? Shepard, need me for something? Uh, let's ask about the Normandy weapons. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the collectors. All right. Well, I think that's it then. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. All right. The Thanix particle cannon. What's... Oh, this is Edie. Okay. All right. I think that's going to be it. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. But that has been our conversation session with our crew. We've gotten a couple of missions out of this. We've gotten to know some of the characters a little bit better. And uh, in our next episode, we will continue our adventures and probably get into some trouble. But until then, this is Hill, and I'm out.